important presumption for SESTA KV. If you prove to be competent and living, then they can't deny you access to the beneficial entitlement, which is the property at the centre of the SESTA KV, the beneficial entitlement of a higher estate, that higher estate formed by the Constitution of the United States, being a deed and will of a testamentary trust. 1292, a birth certificate of the body corporate being the estate of a SESTA KV trust is invalid. If it does not make plain the status of the relevant beneficiary is dead until their return, including how the certificate may be redeemed and the trust and estate dissolved upon their return. The first people now that the Roman system make ignorant is anyone that works in a court. Anyone you meet in a court is by definition ignorant of the law. Why? Because the system is now designed for that. They are breaching every single day their fiduciary duties. And this is what this canon states. They are doing that because no one corrects them. Now it's not enough to say you are breaching fiduciary duties particularly when you're dealing with ignorant people. You have to know what they're breaching and why they're breaching. The why is arguably the most important. What is procedure? Why is wisdom? Why are you breaching? Why? Because you have not made plain on the birth certificate that it's also a death certificate. Okay. Now... <clears throat> What has this got to do with us? Well, let's now talk about some canons here that actually talk about what they do to you and to your children and to your family. And I'm going to speak these as clearly and as, as slow as I can and ask you to go back through them later because they're, they're, they're pretty tricky to get your head around, <clears throat> but they are vital. Canon 1293. When a child is born under inferior Roman law, the executors or administrators of the higher E state, like you know, E states, convey the beneficial entitlements of the beneficiary into the SESTA KV trust in the form of a certificate of share of the higher E state in order to create the trust. That's the first trust they create when you're born deny you your beneficial entitlement. Canon 1294. There are two trusts, in fact, created. This is the second. When a child is born under inferior Roman law, the executors or administrators of the higher estate claim the baby as chattel to the estate. Now, you want to understand how that works? Uh, anything attached to the land is owned by the land. It's why agricultural liens are the highest form of lien. Hopefully we can get to that in, in, in later chats down the road. But just as you might own a farm and uh, one of your uh, uh, cattle may have a uh, calf and you consider to own that calf, that's exactly what the administrators and executors are doing to our children. They claim ownership. <clears throat> The slave baby contract is then created by honouring the ancient tradition of either having the ink impression of the feet of the baby uh, onto the live birth record or a drop of its blood, as well as tricking the parents to sign the baby away through the deceitful legal meanings on the live birth record. Now, if you want one of the trickiest, go and have a look at the definition of date. It, in fact, is uh, listed there as one of the articles of positive law. But go and have a look and see what date means. So the parents are giving and consenting the baby away. The, the, the estate already claims the baby, but the parents agree to that claim and actually give the baby away. If you have been born in their system and your parents signed a birth, live birth record, then they were tricked. They didn't know they were fortunately tricked into giving the baby away. This live birth record as a promissory note is converted into a slave bond, 
sold to the private reserve bank of the estate. So if you live in the United East States, the, the private banks, banks not owned by the public, owned by private individuals, is of course the Federal Reserve Banks. The same as uh, if you're in Canada, the Reserve Bank, or Australia, the Reserve Bank, or England. Uh, and then conveyed into a separate SESTA KV trust per child owned by the bank. Okay, so before we go on, let's just make it clear. So first off, we have a SESTA KV trust created at our birth, but by denying us our beneficial entitlement, our share to the estate, the higher estate, created and put away by the executors and the administrators of the estate. That's the first one. But then they trick the parents into signing the live birth record and converting it into a slave bond, the same as being used for thousands of years in the same techniques, and by the footprint or the blood of the baby, that is the baby signature, this is then sold by the executors to the private bank and placed into a new SESTA KV owned by the bank. This is the second SESTA KV. Upon the promissory note reaching maturity, now what do we know about SESTA KV? Maturing seven, so six years, and the bank being unable to seize the slave child, a maritime lien, remember, SESTA KV, salvage, so maritime lien, that's the lien that they can use, it's C. If it was agricultural, they have to use an agricultural lien. But because it's all maritime law, canon law, Roman law, they can use a maritime lien. A maritime lien is lawfully issued to salvage the lost property and it's self-monetized as currency issued in series against the SESTA KV Trust. Now that's a lot of words and there's a lot of concepts there and I'm sorry for it to be so compact but let's just look at what this is saying. The the currency issued by the Federal Reserve Banks are monetized maritime bills of exchange and they are equitable title. That is to say, you will not see on any Federal Reserve note being a private bill paid to the bearer. There is no pay to the bearer. And there certainly is no pay to the bearer XXX um, in silver or equivalent. You will see still the words pay to the bearer on the English pound, but you will no longer see any equivalent to sterling. Sterling has now been removed. So pay to the bearer 20 pounds, it could be 20 pounds of rice, salt, whatever, uh, some arbitrary number. But this is not what is on a Federal Reserve note. Every single Federal Reserve note is a fraud of a currency but it is issued against ourselves. They get us to use currency issued in series. The numbers on the Federal Reserve note are series issued against the SESTA KV Trust claimed as ownership of the bank against property in that trust being a slave bond. Unbelievable, but true. That is exactly what they've been doing since 1933. Canon 1295. While executives and administrators of societies under Roman law continue the unlawful practice of selling the live births records of children as slave bonds, um, these bonds are never considered property placed into the original SESTA KV Trust, but a second SESTA KV Trust owned by the private central bank as part of the long-standing bankruptcy conditions dating back to 933 and 34. So, because they get us to use their property on the first test of KV through the birth certificate and the corporation, they can charge us rent. Because we're using equitable title rather than legal title of currency against the second SESTA KV, they can charge us rent. So when we get to, and we're going to run out um, of time, I think, because I want to ask the questions now. 
uh, when we get into it. Well, in fact, I will. I'll show you how powerful this is. Um, I won't go to the rest of the SESTA KB because that talks about what uh, is the law and the position of SESTA KB because it's based on fraud. I'm just going to show you one example of how powerful the SESTA KB is when we talk about taxes. And then I'm going to open up to questions. So under Article 107, Taxes, Canon 1357, Tax is a form of charge imposed by the executors and administrators of an estate upon beneficiaries for the use of property of the estate by enforcing the landlord-tenant relationship, tenant being equitable title. Okay. Uh, Canon 1363. Under the modern inferior Roman legal system, almost all revenue of an estate is now classed as taxes, which is both confusing and deliberately misleading. However, from all the variety of taxes, there exists just three base forms. So you may have read the tax codes in the thousands and thousands of pages. <clears throat> it boils down to basically three. Rent tax, Compensation tax and duty tax. Rent tax is a deliberate fraud of misnaming rent charged to a tenant by the landlord being the executors of the deceased estate of the province or nation for use of some property. Both income tax and company tax are forms of rent tax. How? Canon 1365. Income tax is a rent tax by the executors of the estate for use of their property in the form of the dead body corporate, also known as the corporation of the Sesta KV Trust, formed on the presumption that the beneficiary is dead, abandoned, a minor or incompetent. They're using the Sesta KV Trust against us. That is the source of income tax. They're using it against us. They own it. We're renting it. We're incompetent. We're incompetent by paying tax. We're proving our incompetence. Now, at the bottom of these, it, I, I state clearly, nowhere should anyone ever presume that contributions to a society is not a vital and incredibly important element. All of us should agree that contributing to the benefit of your society is an intrinsic part of a healthy society. Absolutely. But not through fraud, not through enslavement, and not through trickery. So what they are being doing is saying to us, taxes is an obligation, contribution is an obligation. And we all say yes. But they've been enforcing it on us because they claim us to be slaves. Well, that's immoral. And that is the disconnect. So when people reject uh, the slave imputation of, of taxes and the outrageous penalties that are wielded by the alphabet agencies, they use media and they use that perverse argument to say, well, these are people that don't want to contribute to the society. That is absolute rubbish. Because the wealthiest people are not paying taxes. The wealthiest people know the lies, and it is the poorest people that have the largest tax burden. That is nothing short of evil. That is not a sustainable society. That is torture, and it's got to stop. But here we see the power of the Sesta KV. Okay, 1365. Uh, 13, sorry. Yes, 1365. Uh, we've done that one, 1366. When a person has re-established their competent living status, then by law, the SESTA KV trust is dissolved. They return to being acknowledged as a beneficiary or of some higher standing if a trust. In either case, it is both unlawful and a serious fraud against the law to seek income taxes once the SESTA KV is dissolved and no dead body corporate exists to use an argument for rent. Once you establish your competence, 
the Sestico V can't hold if they still claim 